Welcome back, Seawolves fans, for another episode of the Get Your Red On Minute. Brought to you by Petro, the only name you need to know for all your home services. I'm your host, Diane Caruso. I hope your voices are well rested because the men's basketball team is getting ready to battle for one more win in Pritchard Gymnasium this Saturday against the Albany Great Danes in the America East Conference Championship. The Seawolves want you to bring even more intensity than ever before. Let's see how the men are preparing for their final championship match this Saturday in Pritchard Gymnasium. Great for the students and, and really excited for our seniors to have a chance to play you know, another game in Pritchard. And we talked a lot about that. And um, you know, to get to be able to do that is, is we're a, very fortunate. It's very hard to do. And uh, you know, we played good basketball up in Albany to give us this opportunity. I didn't really expect to be playing in Pritchard one last time. I thought we closed it senior night. And um, just uh, Albany's fortune and the way we played this regular season, we got a, we finally got a home game back here to close Pritchard out. The comfort of shooting on our own rims doesn't play any mindset, it doesn't give you any advantage, it doesn't give you any points before the game starts. Um, so uh, you still got to play real good basketball to go to the NCAA tournament. Now we got to win it, you know. Um, we took care of business for the weekend, we came out with two victories, and now we got to go home. And we don't lose at home, so everybody just felt comfortable, you know, everybody felt like we could do this. If you had to pick one player or coach to play one-on-one -on -one against, who would that be? Well, none of them would pick me. I, I would beat all of them. So uh, I, I could pick all of them. They could, uh, one on four, I think I would win. Coach Young, absolutely. Uh, he's just, he always has like some smart comment, um, something to say. So it would definitely be fun to be able to play and beat him up a little bit. Um, I probably want to play Coach Young. Okay. Uh, he's a, he's old, you know. <laughs> Why? Like, he talk, he talks so much trash during practice, and he, he's on my back about everything. So if I could beat him one on one, that would be that would make my season. I mean, we've been building this program for nine years now, and you know, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm you know, I think a lot about our former players that have helped rise this program. We used to be the homecoming game for a lot of people, and now we're competing for league championships yearly. So, um, you know, I would say the former players that really came here and got this thing started, that would be my biggest inspiration for this game. Knowing that I've been in this game twice before, and both times that have come up short, so uh, knowing that feeling of losing is nothing worse, so that's definitely my inspiration. A very special shout out goes to the women's basketball team for an amazing season that will continue next week in the WNIT. We're in. This is about us. For 40 minutes, just have to be us. You get nervous, look over at us. We got you. The Seawolves, led by first team All-America East stars Sabri Proctor and Shakira Goodman, are 24 and 8 this season and advanced all the way to the America East Championship title game. Visit GoSeawolves.org Monday night to see who the Seawolves will play in the first round of the WNIT. Thank you for watching this week's episode and come back every Friday for more. Download the Seawolves mobile app and follow Stony Brook Athletics on all of its social media outlets to get the latest news and use the hashtag Seawolves to keep the conversation going. And remember, you're in Seawolves country now, so get your red on. It's what we do.